Folks, I want to fly through these book reviews with the universalist perspective. Now, we universalists believe that God works through history in unexpected and mysterious ways. But one way we can see here in these new books is that there's always a fresh look at the history about anything. Um, and this helps all generations, I believe. So let's go there. Uh, starting with this interview by Colin Kaepernick. Reading about Roberto Clemente was life-changing. I saw myself in a story, and that was has stuck with me ever since. Now he's a publisher and the co-writer of the picture book, We Are Free, You and Me. Exile on Wall Street, a historian recounts the uphill and ongoing battle of women to break into the finance industry. The book, She-Wolves, The Untold History of Women on Wall Street. Quagmire, this new book, The Bog Wife. A West Virginia family must reckon with betrayals and the destruction of their legacy when a supernatural covenant begins to falter. It's an unwieldy and hard-to-describe setup, but the five siblings are the greatest strength of the narrative. The buck stops elsewhere. This new book, Lucky Loser, How Donald Trump Squandered His Father's Fortune and Created the Illusion of Success. The biographical details deepen the portrait as much as they foreshadow the plot. A Moral Force, this new book, John Lewis, A Life by David Greenberg. A new biography tells the full story of the civil rights hero who became a long-serving U.S. representative. After a period of anguished indecision, Lewis pledged his support to the surging Obama. Meet the family. A reason to see you again. The domestic drama runs high in this novel of messy life. Well, if we're honest with ourselves, all lives are messy, complicated, etc., right? Years pass like pages torn from a calendar in an old movie, a nearly four decades dance of attachments and estrangements. All families are broken families if we share the secrets. Once more, unto the breach. Henry V, the astonishing triumph of England's Greatest Warrior King. Literary Destinations. These are always fun. Read your way through New Orleans. Classic books about New Orleans. Geek Love. The Unicorn Woman. An itinerant man discovers his beloved as a sideshow carnival attraction. But this is a Gail Jones book. There is, of course, much more afoot. <laughs> This new book, Vertigo, The Rise and Fall of Weimar Germany. Before the Nazis, the Weimar Republic was a hotbed of cultural experimentation. A new history, again, new history, argues that its demise was not inevitable. Hmm. The Polite Militants, The Siege is the title, a six-day hostage crisis and the daring special forces operation that shocked the world. A British historian gives a lesser-known 20th century Iranian hostage crisis, it's due. Safe and eat. Annihilation. Both a family and a society are on the verge of breakdown in Michael Hollebeck's new novel. He would not, not be worth arguing about if he were not so often a terrific writer, insouciant, shrewd, and pyrrhonic all at once. And then reunion. Three adult siblings come together for... On the first anniversary of their sister's death, Blue Sisters is the title. Next one, The Mighty Red, Deep Currents in Louise Erdrich's new novel, High School Jock Proposes to the Daughter of a Woman Who Works for His Family's Sugar Farm. Connie Chung reports her new memoir, Connie, in a frank new memoir, the TV newscaster recounts how sexism and Anne Rather sidelined her groundbreaking career. And then finally, children's books, Before the Attic, an ominous dreamscape. When We Flew Away, a novel of Anne Frank before the diary. Again, eternal truths, life lessons in these children's books.